Hey everyone, I want to show you a closer look at head tracking for Maya with the Wii Remote. Here's the Wii Remote holder I created. If it was on the laptop, and this was the back of the laptop, it would stand like this. This is used so that the Wii Remote faces me properly. I could pop out my Wii Remote like so. And I'm left with nothing but the shell. There's no glue, nothing, just coat hanger. When we were back in, you just pop it back in first, in the front, and you're done. Also, you can see I have the two infrared LED lights. You can't see these two lights by eye because human eye cannot see infrared light. So uh, I made this video so I could show you how you could use the head tracking to model a simple model. I'm not going to model anything too complicated or pretty because it's just a really quick video. So let's get to it. I'm going to make a simple futuristic airplane. Nothing too complicated and it won't look too pretty because I'm just rushing at this. But here goes nothing. So as you can see when I select the two sides, I look at both sides instead of having to move the camera separately. Now when I move the blue square over here, you can see that it doesn't look like too much is changing, but when I look from the top, you can clearly see that I'm actually modifying something. So from this angle, it's better to do this. Select the front face, pull it out. Now if you want to move back, you do like you normally would by uh, scrolling the scroll wheel. And I could look around see if it's flat enough. Yeah, it looks okay. From the top a little bit. Alright, a smooth version of this would appear like that. So let's add a little bit of finesse. So now this isn't going to be too pretty like I said earlier. But I'm showing you how it's a little bit easier. Select objects and pull them and move them as of now I don't think I've moved the camera too much by hand maybe once or twice so it's looking pretty good Now let's say, now I want to edit the back of this plane, so let's say I want to look at the back. I wouldn't be able to do it like this because uh, it's too far away. So I'm going to have to drag the camera like I would normally if I wasn't using any head tracking. And as you can see the head tracking still works now. So I just select the back, shrink it, and pull it out a little bit. and finish it off like so. Maybe I'll squeeze these two a little more. Let's look, look back at the front, zoom out a little bit, smooth it out. So there it is. I moved the camera by hand maybe a total of four times. Um, I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Just for fun, I wanted to see if I could track the cube on the screen to the Wii Remote. Right now I'm holding the camera up to my eyes so you guys could see what I would be seeing. To achieve this effect, I just alter the camera settings so that they're less sensitive. It almost appears as if the cube is directly below the Wii Remote. 